Quan family, well connected Jay Z and you. Fake thugs is a plug like MTV. I M P three, check your treasure. My pleasure. Dad, President Charles, politicians, you jazz. Blow. That was good. That was good. Well, at least these, well in these times, well at least to me, there's a lot of rappers out there trying to sound like Jay Z. He bit that rhyme off somebody, and I think y'all know who it is. It, you real hip hop fans know who did, you know he bit that rum off of. Anyway, here's the deal. A lot of people may call me a hater because I don't like Jay Z. I'm just not a. I just. Here's the deal. I kind of dug him when I was in high school. Um, I'm 26 now. When I was in high school, pretty much around the time I graduated, I graduated when he dropped the Blueprint 2. And that's around the time I jumped off his wagon, um, doing the whole Jay-Z versus Nas feud. Um, around that time, I started listening to, you know, some more old school rap. I started listening to more Biggie. Um, well, then I just realized, you know, Nas is right. Jay-Z be biting his lyrics. That's the reason why I'm not a big fan of his. He's really not original whatsoever. I and mean, he's no godfather to his style. There's no father... I mean, there's a father figure to his style, definitely. I mean, listening to Jay Z is kind of like listening to uh, DMX do his version of Bill Withers' "Ain't No Sunshine." You know what I mean? I mean, I mean, not only does he bite lyrics off Biggie, he's bitten lyrics off of so many '80s rappers. But most Jay Z fans, they really don't realize that because most of them, like, don't. I don't know if you noticed this, but a lot of Jay-Z fans are not Biggie fans. They never really checked Big out. A lot of them are not fans of 80s rappers either, like I am. So, I mean, if I wanted to listen to a Jay-Z CD, I might as well pop in a Biggie CD or something. Or a Big L CD. If Biggie and Big L never passed away, his career would have been over. Jay-Z's career would have been a rap a long time ago. You know what I mean? Um... I mean, pretty much, I, I thought a reasonable doubt and Blueprint 1 pretty much did it for me. He, I mean, those two, those are classics. Reasonable doubt, I mean, you gotta have, regardless how much you hate Jay-Z, regardless how much you got your head up big and Nas' ass, you gotta have reasonable doubt in your collection. But, um, yeah, other than that, I never... I mean, hell, I can even go on the record and say I didn't, I didn't care for Volume 2 to Hard Knock Life. But you can sit here and call me a hater all you want to. I don't care. Peace. Jigga, what's my motherfucking name? Jigga, and who I'm rolling with, huh?